Hey there, game makers. This is a neat little preview of the new particle editor, which is only available now in the beta branch. But of course, in 10, 15, 16 days, it will be available in the regular stable build. So if you want to create your own particles and do that with the editor on the fly, and you can actually preview all that stuff, which is a godsend, then um, this video is for you. But of course, this is a quick and dirty video and for advanced users, which already created particles. So if you don't know how to customize that, there will be a longer one after this one tomorrow. But here, the quick and dirty, it's basically what it is, how it's being saved, what it's good for, where to spawn it and what kind of implications you're having. The really, really compact and quick and dirty informations for you. Alrighty, so basically particles you can just create on the screen there is a new asset class which you can find under particle systems and these particle systems as you can see this is pretty sweet they uh, actually show you in the preview window how it looks like what it does so but it, as you can see it can be a stream or a one-time burst so these are the two modalities and then each particle system is having for example if you double click on one is being opened in a specific new editor and here you can preview it uh, for your liking and then it has tons of values most of them are pretty straightforward so they're pretty easy and what the particle system is actually particularly doing it is storing on the left side and you can just plus um, add new emitters and these emitters contain the area where the particles are being spawned and it's storing one particle, which you then customize how it looks like, where it flies to, what it does after uh, while well, it's ended, and, and so on. So all these shenanigans, and you can actually save it as a preset, and other particle systems can, um, well, grab that and reuse it. Kind of important to understand. So let's kill this one here. So the first thing which you can set up is basically the emitter itself. So if you play it with emitters, emitters just need, I don't know, just a couple of informations, where to spawn it, if it's in a field, and how you distribute it, and then if it's a, a stream or a one-time burst. Here you can just define, I don't know, a color for how and how this whole thing, where it's being spawned, and then, um, how many do you want to spawn then what kind of fashion gaussian is more the center linear uh, inverse gaussian is around the center and then uh, what kind of shape you want to have a rectangle diamond or a line whatever you like and then you can actually define its width and its height if you set it to zero well then it's just on one point so basically this is the emitter part and after that we got the library here is where you can save this as a preset and then after it's being saved, all the other ones can actually interact with it. And then you can kind of chain things here. Therefore, you got this little uh, icon, which is called chained. And it does give you an information. If, if you, for example, chain it, then um, that just simply means that um, this new small little uh, emitter asset class, uh, if you change it, uh, open it in another uh, particle, system and you change it there you change it everywhere because it's just one thing but of course if you unchain it you kind of create mini in so to say mini instances and then therefore um, you just um, have copies of those and then they are kind of unique uh, uh, or just clones and then you can change the clones and then it's all cool so here um, this is what that means and then of course here all the other um, things are just to for customizing so you can i don't know give it the ring or um, these pre-designed shape but of course you can use your own sprite if you like so for example here my megostar uh, little particle and then you can actually um, see what kind of uh, index you want to use you can just uh, take one so it's not animating and then um, you can i don't know i would say just use the pre-designed one and then you can des design the color here kind of important you don't have an alpha value set it up so the alpha value is kind of uh, um, inside the color so for let's say you have the first color you set it to zero then you start off with full transparency 
then it's in its lifetime it goes into full uh, from transparency to full opacity and then uh, let's say at the last color you well you fade it out also so once again here this is where the, the alpha values are in there you can have additive blending that means colors will overlap and then the darker the color the more uh, the less it's being shown and of course the more you have the more the overlapping is happening then life well how long it's around scale um, this is just for the distorting if you like what kind of size if you want to increase it decrease it going smaller and bigger speed gravity and direction is basically movement and how you define it orientation the same here a pretty cool thing so let's say you have lines as a thing and then normally you would have this for example the lines are just horizontal and so um, this doesn't look good and if you press on the relative this is one of the hidden features here if you just press it they go with where they are going to and therefore it looks natural which is a pretty sweet little thing and you can just instantly just with one button press and then the last part is with sub particles what's actually happening after you spawn it and then what's actually happening uh, so for example here you can actually open one of those presets and as you can see you can actually use the same one which we had here and you can create infinite loops of particles so be careful of that and of course you can have an update so basically each step create a particle once again one of those presets and here you just have the count of that so how can you uh, use and spawn them well you can you have one thing which is kind of interesting on the asset layer you can actually uh, place your particle effect and as you can see it, it's having those bling bling things here you can actually preview them if you like on the screen so this is pretty sweet and if you like you can actually uh, you can actually rotate that which is kind of fascinating also so let's say here so that is possible and of course you can give it specific colors also so this is a very very powerful tool or the more regular method would be to create a particle system normally it would be something like this part system create but now you can input it as an optional argument and then you using the asset class and then you just say where you want to have it so part system position so this specific system and then you place it on the point be aware that you are creating kind of a, a thing in vram so therefore it makes sense to and destroy it. but there's some doc documentation on that so i assume um that you need to uh, manually store it and destroy it afterwards if you don't need it so this is kind of important for that so for what is this whole thing good well it's great for previewing um burst effects which are i don't know hit effects or things which you burst once or streams which could be fire a waterfall or dust uh, rinsing out or for example some glow particles which are just constantly being in a stream and just going upwards downwards or whatever you like so here once again super powerful system that this is the quick and dirty way how to use it have a good one one up indie